This portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. The growing trend of bullying in the Bahamas is receiving some prominence during last night's session in the House. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigration, Fred Mitchell, highlighted the issue while building a case particularly for persons of different sexual orientation who too find themselves being bullied. Shanique Miller has more from the Minister's contribution. The topic of bullying has captured national attention over the last several days. Last night, during his contribution to the mid-year budget, Foreign Affairs Minister Fred Mitchell talked about a case that's given a face to the emerging issue in the country. The tragic death of young Gilbert Bain, who died of injuries he received after reportedly asking an older relative to teach him self-defense techniques. Mitchell then talked about the bullying of members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community and the ongoing fight, particularly in the United States to protect their rights. Here at home, he called the attention to comments made about him in the local media homophobic. We have to be careful with language. That's all. Because knowing how this thing is such a hot button issue in the country. Imagine that, what my, my sister, this one and that thinks in the context of this. With this torrent of abusive language that has now been unleashed against me with these scatological comments that are completely without merit. Referring to a recent speech delivered in Trinidad, Mitchell says the local media took a portion of it and focused only on comments related to sexual orientation. He talked about the bullying directed towards him through the commentary that's followed. No public official, and any of us in here, should be a part of supporting that kind of effort against anybody. You can disagree with me, about my statements, about this and so on and so forth, but a way to do this in a civil atmosphere. Particularly since the opposition spokesman says he has no problem with my views. It's easy to pick on people, Mr. Speaker, easy to pick on people who you don't like because you, they don't fit the mold. You, you attack their nationality, you attack their color, their skin size, their orientation, anything to diminish somebody. In fact, Mitchell says, should the Bahamas prove stubborn on this issue, there could be consequences to pay at the hands of our biggest ally. You will be aware that this country receives millions of dollars in military assistance that, given the way American foreign policy works, human rights abuses may lead to cutbacks in that assistance mandated by law. So, as we shape our social domestic policies, we are always cognizant of that fact. Mitchell says it's important for the country to just get over it, as the Bahamas has signed on to the United Nations Convention to condemn violence against gay people. You should know that in 1991, the Bahamas also passed a bill that decriminalizes the act of sexual orientation. Shanit Miller, CNS Network News. Debate on the mid-year budget continued in the House of Assembly this morning. Among those contributing were Elizabeth MP Ryan Pinder. He said the government is on a course toward fulfilling its financial goals and putting the country back on a sound economic footing. He explained that with the implementation of value-added tax, the government will be in a better position to further meet its obligations. Mr. Speaker, the current model, tax model of the government and the country is unsustainable. There's not sufficient revenue to support the obligations of the government. Mr. Speaker, the tax base is just far too narrow. This is substantiated by referring to what we call as tax revenue to GDP. We like to hear about our debt levels to compare to GDP. Well, internationally recognized is the standard of tax revenues as compared to GDP. And it's important to note that the Bahamas measure of tax revenue to GDP is anywhere between 16.2 and 18.2 percent. This includes revenue from property tax, selected services tax, business license and customs duties, Mr. Speaker. In the context of tax reform enforcement of efficient collection, all taxes are necessary. Mr. Speaker, I make note that the average tax revenue of GDP for OECD countries is 34.6 percent. Well, during his contribution, Member of Parliament for North Eleuthera, Theo Neely, talked about the proposed implementation of value-added tax. He feels Bahamians aren't ready. Mr. Speaker, with less than five months before the announced implementation of VAT, it's time the government start telling the people more 
on the Bahamian businesses what's expected. The reality is if we went on to collect the taxes that are due and the taxes that are out there, there might not be any need for that. The ready persons in this country experiencing hardship, it seems that we want to increase their burdens and stress. There's no member in this House who can say that inflation will not, be, will not happen after that and that prices will not go up. At these times, we're talking about increasing taxes when people are stressed to the max. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it.